Here's how you can help. Number one, subscribe to my channel. Number two, make sure you share, like, and comment on all of my videos. And number three, which is the most important, make sure the video plays all the way through. Even if you're not watching it, you can mute it and look at something else and let the video just play all the way through. This helps the YouTube algorithm push my video to a lot more people. And without further ado, please enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Thursday night. Well, actually, this episode will be first week of December. <laughs> so, <laughs> by the time the podcast version comes out, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Welcome to another edition of Barry Media Unrestricted, the Unrestricted Podcast. I have a special guest. I'm glad I was able to get this woman so soon. She literally, not even a week ago, turned pro. <laughs> one week ago. One week ago. Oh, it's been a week, week today. Okay. Yeah. We have uh, IFBB figure pro Ruby Nichols live in the building. Straight out of Houston. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah. man. Yeah. That's a pro car. Thank you. And, um, I was doing my research at home. And you kicked ass at that. I mean, you must have checked every box when you was filling out, like, what categories you want to compete in. Because, like, everything figure, I'm looking like, okay, third, first, 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 overall. Da, 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 da. We'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> and even a week after, you still look phenomenal. Thank you. Uh, you're very quite welcome. Um, so, how are you feeling? How does it feel to be pro? Um, it has not set in. It hasn't has yet? Not, it, has, it has not set in. Um, I'm happy it's over. Okay. I can eat. So that's yeah. always good. You like to eat, which we'll get to. I, I follow your social media and everything. It's like, all right, damn, I'm a big guy. You eating better than oh, me. Yeah. Shit. I, get, I get that. I get that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what I guess let's start from the beginning. Where you're from and how you got into the sport and everything. Um, I am originally from Jackson, Mississippi. So, okay. Yeah, from Dirty South. Okay. Um, moved here two thousand eight. Okay. Um Three kids, husband, career. I'm sorry. Go, go. Let's go back a little bit. Sorry, okay. Ruby. Three kids. Three kids. You look like that. Yes. Sixteen. <laughs> so anybody, 16. anybody that's listening live right now, or will listen to the podcast version, <laughs> turn into YouTube right now <laughs> to see what woman after three kids looks like. <laughs> yep, yep, three. Uh, amazing. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 you're good. Um, so yeah, three kids, career, um, mom, body. Mm -hmm. um, my fitness journey actually started for very vain reasons. Mm -hmm. I always tell this story. Um, I have a group of girlfriends. We normally go on a girls trip each year. Mm -hmm. um, went to Costa Rica one year and they were snatched. They had their two pieces on. I'm uh -huh. like in my one piece, like trying to hide everything. And I'm like, you know what? Next year, I got y'all. I got okay. y'all next year. So um, started working out. Started keto first just okay. for diet purposes, just to lose a little bit of weight. Um, the weight was coming off, but um, I had rather rather soft look. So wanted to build some muscle. Got okay. a trainer um, that went pretty well, but then I wanted to like take it to the next level. So mm. luckily, we had um, a family friend back home. We were in Houston at the time. Okay, that um, had just started his own like um, personal training business. Okay, so um, luckily he was a bodybuilder. Okay, so yeah. he trained me. Like a bodybuilder. Diet ah, was like a competition crazy. prep. Training was crazy. Like I went from working out three days a week full body to every day you're isolating a body part. Oh, they, so, okay. Yeah. So six days a week working out, cardio, everything. Like, but I loved it. Like I wanted more. So oh, Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, Interesting. Yeah. Body started shaping up. Um, he was long distance. So I wanted to go with someone local. Mm -hmm. So I got another trainer who just so happened to be a bodybuilder. Okay. Um, and looking back on it, I think the reason why I naturally actually gravitated towards trainers that were bodybuilders is because I liked the way that their girls looked. Mm, they had okay, that yeah. really toned athletic yeah. look, you know, so that's really what pulled me in. So, um, yeah, after time, I mean, my body just really started to shape yeah. up to look like a, that of a competitor. So I had a lot of bodybuilding friends saying, hey, you should try it. So I swore I wouldn't, but I did. And <laughs> I fell in love with it. And here we are a year and a half later. So Wow, all is it a year and a half? All less than a year I was going to ask you, when did the, the, the trip happen in Costa Rica? Which you go so yeah, so that there. was like about, that was 2017. So okay. I got really serious about like bodybuilding, maybe 2018, late 2018. Okay. I did my first show May of 2019. Okay, did what a, show was that? That was, um, oh. It was a Beaumont show. Okay. I can't remember the name. I know I know that's what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, because there's only like one in Beaumont yeah. for the whole year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I did um three categories there. I did okay. open figure. Um I placed first in my class there. Um I did novice and then true novice where I think I did like second and third. So 
Um, I did another show, um, got a new coach, did okay. another show in December of last year. That was a Texas Cup. Okay. I won my class there. Congrats. And thank you. Then decided to do a national show this year, so um, we got it on the first try, luckily. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And so you went out the gate with your training, training like a competitor, mm -hmm. when you just kind of really just wanted to look good in a bikini. Right. More or less. That's like, that's what it was. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, <laughs> next trip, just want to look good in a bikini, don't right. want to wear a two piece, and then. You just was just doing a bodybuilding regiment training right off the bat. Right. Man, kudos to you on yeah. that. <laughs> I tried it back in the day, and that's why like I'm still a fan of sport. Like, Blue would tell you here, mm -hmm. like I used to train relentlessly, and I'm just like I just don't have the mental yeah. discipline mm -hmm. of it. It, it. You really have to have. It's all mental. Yeah, it's it really it's is. mental, and I'm like, you know what? I'll do what I can and lift and. <laughs> Just woo everybody on. Yeah, it was all my God. Friends just right since the Costa Rica. Uh, the, the girls with the yeah, girls trip. Your girlfriend. Now? Oh, now they're like, you need to give me some tips, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they all still look wonderful, too, okay, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, no, you know, awesome, but, but that was your motivation. Right. They were my motivation. Crazy. Like, I tell them that all the time. They're all in Dallas now. Okay. So like, Aww. yeah. Y'all nice. did this. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. And um, I was looking at your Facebook page today because you sent me the links and. Mm -hmm. You go? Did you attend um, University of Houston by chance? Yeah, the University of Houston for Central undergrad. Or um, it was Victoria. Victoria. Yeah. Okay, still yep. part of the system. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna check because I'm a U of H alum now. Oh, Central. Yes, yeah. yeah, so okay. it's all the same, the same family. That's yeah. neat. Okay. Um, and what did you do? What did you major in there? Marketing? You um, I did English, actually. I okay. went to law school for a year. Oh, nice. Okay. Decided it was not for me and got out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's another mental thing. Ooh, that is journey. all mental. Yeah, yeah that's... that's so I interned at a law firm here for a while just to kind of get my feet wet and see if it was for me. Mm -hmm. And most of the women were like so run down and ragged. If they left like to have kids, they did not come back or they came back and was like, no. So I, I knew that kind of going into it where I needed to be top 5% to yeah. work, you know, in big law. Yeah. And it, it killed me, especially because I had a family, and, yeah. you know, at the time. It was it was brutal. So I it was imagine. the best decision I ever made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I give attorneys uh, one of my first guests, a friend of mine that that's an attorney, and she's an attorney and an author, and mom of two kids, wife, and she has her own podcast, and she still practices law to this day. Oh, yeah, she's, and I'm just she still litigates and all that stuff, and I'm just like, wow. wow. Right. I, I see why you look for you. She, she wears that yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> big time. Yeah, yeah, kudos to her. Wow. Okay. So, what was the prep like for your first contest? Um, my first contest, um, prep was brutal, honestly. I think my first contest was my worst prep. Okay. Um, my coach at the time, um, probably a great coach, but was not the coach for me. Yeah. Um, lots of cardio, sometimes two hours a day. Um, I think we got down to maybe 900 calories towards the end. I hit the stage at like 98 pounds. Damn. Like, oh, okay. I was tiny. So tiny. Um, so yeah, I knew at that point. And how tall were you, by the I'm 5'2". 5'2", okay. Yeah. I knew at that point he was not the coach for me, so kudos Damn. to him. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was um, very hands-off, and I'm not a very hand-holdish person, but yeah. I at least need the blueprint. Give me the blueprint so yeah. I can run with it. So. Yeah. Um, I came off of the stage with him with a new coach. So I had already interviewed everyone. Like, I'm new to the sport. Still, I don't even feel like saying I'm a rookie in the sport. I say I'm a babe in the sport. Yeah. I'm a baby. <laughs> um, but I've studied it for forever. You know, very research-oriented, hence law school. Yeah, um, same here. Yeah, so I knew enough to know, you know, what I was looking for in my coach. So I interviewed about four um, sent pictures, what would the protocol be, you know, what what should we develop, and yeah, came off stage with a new coach, so. I commend you for that, and that's actually a pet peeve of mine just in anything in life. A lot of people, and I tell Blue this all the time, don't take the time to do their research mm -hmm. in anything. Right. I don't care if it's a mechanic for your car, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. You just, you know, you get on Facebook, oh, who's a good mechanic? Like, no, do your own research, because right. what may work for you know, my Honda Civic may not work for your Mercedes. You know what I mean? Right, <laughs> you know, right, or whatever right, you got. Right, you know, right. it's like, you know, I, I commend you for that. And you actually interviewed yeah. coaches. That's yeah. dope. That's something I you don't see. Like, yeah. This is my body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's your body. And, and I've heard horror stories of, uh, oh, yeah. you know, coaches putting people on certain supplements before they're ready and mm -hmm. too much and all that. And then, you know, it makes your... Um, 
it just makes all of your your levels just off right. and unbalanced and everything and then you gotta take time off and mm -hmm. blood work done and all that so now that's that's smart that's that's hella smart um so what was prep like for this kind of contest last mm -hmm. week this prep was actually i say it was a pretty smooth prep Mm -hmm. But it's probably the hardest that I've ever worked <laughs> in my mm. life towards anything. Well, following you on Instagram, you made it look easy. Did I, make it look <laughs> easy? Oh, my <laughs> I mean, I had to. Yeah, you got I'm, the best of it. Right, yeah. and I, I'm a very competitive person. Mm -hmm. um, I knew, I always said, you know, if I'm going to do a national show, I want to at least be competitive. Like, mm. I'm. May not get it, but I'm not going to make it easy for you. Yeah. So, mm, you know. Yeah, well, I'm okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I went into it, you know, 16-week prep. I hit the ground running day one. You know, full out. Um, yeah. COVID kind of impacted that some too. Yeah. Gyms closed down. Um, luckily, we got ahead of it. Um, smart husband. Gyms are gonna close. Let's go get you equipment because mm. you're gonna right. like freaking yeah. go yeah. crazy yeah. if you can't work out. Yeah. So, you know, he built a garage gym for me to keep going. Um, gyms open back up. Yeah. Just, yeah, just kept moving. Step, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. that was um, that was some of it. The kids being home, obviously, yeah. with COVID going on, I couldn't commit to three hours in the gym at one you yeah. know, time. So I had to break those workouts up. Sometimes starting at four in the morning and finishing at 10 at night, but you know, it got done. So, um, whatever it takes, yeah, whatever it takes. Yeah. yeah. But it, it was, it was a pretty smooth prep. I think, um, towards the end, you know, I'd always hear one of my good friends talk about like this dark place that you go to yeah. and I was in that dark place. Like, you know, it was, it was mentally draining, honestly, to keep going some days, you know, but mm -hmm. Um, when I would say that, she said, "You're right where I need you to be." I feel like death. You're right where I need you to be. <laughs> <laughs> right on the blink. Right, and just you're good. If you feel like it. death, you're gonna win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Not that. Yeah. Yeah. And you literally feel mm -hmm. like death. Like you know, I'm gonna throw it all away today. I don't even care anymore. You know. But. but wow. That's 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 a different spin. I've never heard that before. But that that makes sense. Yeah. I've heard a lot of athletes like. Um, Dog, did y'all catch the? Um, over the summer, the last dance, mm -hmm. the Michael Jordan, like there was parts yeah. of that. Well, like you know, now we know Jordan was poisoned mm -hmm. when he played against what was it, Utah? Yes, it's like but he kept going. I mean, right. you know, he felt and looked like crap, right. but, but you, you yeah, find it yeah, somewhere. he find it somewhere yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to win. And um, I think that's what separates like passionate people from mm. the ones that aren't so passionate. Like yeah. you know, when you love it, you find a way. Yeah, like there, yeah, there is no no. You will not tell me no, you know? Even your own body, you're not gonna tell me no. <laughs> dope, dope. Yeah. That's, that's, that's interesting. Um, and speaking of that, I guess we're kind of getting into the downsides of things. So what are the downsides in bodybuilding? Um, it's a very subjective sport. Okay. I think yeah. it, um, it, you have to have a thick skin to be able to do it. Um, mm. You know, even with how hard I worked in this prep, um, those were the things that I could control can't control who shows up you know someone sure. may show up looking better that's been doing it for longer or yeah. you know may not have had to put in as much work but you know their shape and the package that they brought resonates more with the judges and you know again speaking of judges the you know subjectivity to it as well um they may not like what you bring so they yeah. may decide to go another direction so i think at the end of the day you have to be comfortable with the work that you've put in and the package that you've brought forward and know that you know you tried your best um, or it will mess with you mentally. Um, I think for women in bodybuilding as well, downside is, you know, the societal standards. Yeah. You know, muscle on women, it's not attractive, you know, um, you look masculine. Um, and I think people that are outside of it, they don't understand that this is like a stage look. Yeah. You don't walk around looking yeah, like you this can't, all the time. Yeah, you can't. It's damn near impossible to, the, the right. put up, the, be that 24-7, right. 365. Right. Yeah. Especially for yeah. women. It's, yeah. it's unhealthy. You yeah, know, I was 8% exactly. body fat. There's no way. Oh, I, damn. This last week? Yes. Was, holy <laughs> shit. Okay. And I was I probably hit the stage like maybe seven or six because that was two weeks out when I when, you, okay, when yeah, I had the, it the done. Thing. Like, okay. and it, I, you could see it in my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah, because like I think you posted some pictures today mm -hmm. of your contest, and I was like, you could just tell in the jawline and yeah. the lips and everything. Yeah. And yeah. see, I'm, I protect the face. I'm very big on protecting the face. So you know, I, I'm a big proponent of Botox and fillers. When I get ready to get on the stage, like oh yeah, Dr. Robert Steely, feel me <laughs> up. yeah, give me a shout out, give me, give me a shout. Out. That's what we're here for. Right, yeah. Fill me up, like, but I got it done too soon. So mm -hmm. normally I wait till. 
maybe two weeks out and get it done. I did it at four, but it okay. just goes to show you how fast my metabolism was wow. moving. Yeah. That it completely burned out of my system wow. in four weeks. So, yeah, it, it's insane. So. Now, and I want to touch on something you just said with the whole the whole stigmata with women with muscle. It's like, okay. And I remember there's a, a photographer that I look up to, um, the great Bill Dobbins, and he did a post a couple years ago, and I'm paraphrasing, but he's like, okay, the general public, you know, shames female bodybuilders, mm -hmm. but everyone loves Serena Williams. Mm -hmm. Every, every, you know, black women, white women, any women, everybody want to look like Serena Williams, and she's just two steps shy from being a female bodybuilder right. herself. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like they don't she's muscular, that's got muscle. the big butt. Yeah, that is she's muscle. all muscle, you know? <laughs> And it's like, well, how can one be acceptable but not the other? You know, and that's, I, it, it's that shredded look. That's the difference. Like, ah. You know, when, when you cut down, mm -hmm. you know, um, and for some women that have a particular amount of muscle, you know, it, it can be yeah. overwhelming, a little overpowering. I, I get it, you know, but again, it's for a purpose. It serves a yeah. purpose. You know, it's not an everyday look. Yeah. You know, um, I think for me, what makes it attractive is the discipline that goes into mm. it, especially for female bodybuilders, like yeah. the oh, bigger yeah. ones. Like, yeah. that is work. Like, your body's not naturally able to do that. Yeah, so. to put on that much muscle, <laughs> yeah, so especially if you're 10 weeks out from a show, you're trying to add on in certain areas. Yeah, it's, right. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you're fighting what your body naturally does to mm -hmm. be able to you know produce this result like it's hard work you know even for me yeah you know on the smaller side you know people always think i'm a lot bigger than what i am i can remember being at the show and people that followed me on instagram they're like you're in class b i was looking for you like an e or f i thought you were some amazon I'm like no i'm five two <laughs> when i was going over my notes today i looked on the on the, on the site and as i say that i was like class b is like and that's why actually your height i was Okay, now it all makes sense. Okay, right. yeah. I hit the stage at like 112 pounds. Like, I, it looks bigger because yes. it's muscle, yeah. but... And then I'm, you're shorter. And right. It, yeah. I'm, I'm a little tiny tot. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, people see you in person and it's different, you yeah. know? And, and obviously in your off season, you walk around looking like a normal person yeah. for the most part. So, so what are your plans for your look for the off season? Um... My coach is going to fluff me out. I'll be a little Michelin man walking around very soon. <laughs> um, he, yeah, we, we got to grow. So okay. we're looking to put on about five to seven pounds of muscle okay. in this off season. So um, last off season, we put on maybe about a good solid five, okay. which pushed me to about 140. Okay. So I'm thinking he's probably going to push to 150 this time. We'll uh -oh. see. Ooh. But it, we'll, we'll get uncomfortable. Okay. Because sure. <laughs> I remember when um, I was talking to you, other than the podcast that coming on here, we were talking about a photo shoot, mm -hmm. and you was like, hey, just wait till you I fluff back it. out. Yeah, we use that word, fluff. And I'm, just, I'm looking at my phone's like. This <laughs> 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 Yeah, that, that fluffy look, it, it resonates a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, I got you. I get it, yeah. Um, okay, I, I, yeah, I definitely understand. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Yeah. Um, Maybe within the next couple weeks, you know. Okay. I mean, we still have some tone there, but we, we at least my face is filled out. <laughs> well, yeah, because, like, your Instagram pictures, like, when you're going out and you're in, like, those elegant dresses, I'm like, wow, like, that's, and I'm assuming those take, like, on my iPhone or something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, my husband's my photographer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good eye. Good eye good angles and everything. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, those those are dope. That That's, like, catalog material. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're, wel you're quite welcome. Um, and how do you juggle being a wife, mother, having a job, and bodybuilding? Um... It's my husband. Honestly. That's, that's the secret. Hero for the husband. I'm some hero. Yeah, his um, his love for me is the epitome of partnership mm -hmm. over ownership. So, um, I couldn't do any of it without him. Um, I'm a very traditional wife, so mm -hmm. when I'm in prep. I don't make them eat fish and all the stuff that I have to eat. I still cook dinner every oh, night. Oh, that's got to um, be tough. Yeah, it, it, I, I'm used to it, you know. Um, I bake for the kids. Yeah. They want breakfast. I fix things. But, you know, you have those days when you really just don't feel like it either. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, he picks up the ball and he runs with it. So, um, forever grateful having someone that supports me. Yeah, and allows absolutely. Me to do this yeah. Thing, so. yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I try not to upset the family um, life 
our balance as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So, you know, still PTA mom. I'm still at every game, you know. Yeah, yeah, I see it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Football games, I'm there. (laughs) Hell yeah. You know, I try to work out at times that, you know, don't impact family life. Mm -hmm. So up early before the kids go to school so I can come home and get them off to school. Yeah. Um, I work out midday, usually around lunchtime. Um, If I do have to go back at night, it's when they're sleeping so I can get dinner Mm -hmm. and stuff going. So, um Wow. Yeah, I mean he's the he's a secret ingredient. My job is flexible. They know okay. what I do, which is great too. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I always work from home, which okay. is helpful. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, role is global, so I'm usually up early with my peeps in Europe, and okay. late at night anyway, working with my people in Asia. So okay, um, that helps. So I think all of the everything just kind of works together. Yeah, everything just yeah. falls into place. Yeah, yeah all the pieces fit. Nah. Yeah, if I had to go into an office, this would not be happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are the real MVPs, the people that have to work. Like, I know some nurses that body bill, and they're working 12 and 16-hour shifts and still getting it done. Like, oh. Yeah, I follow one chick from um, in Ohio. Yeah, she works. I don't know if she's a nurse per se, but Mm -hmm. she works in the hospital. She'd take pictures of her scrubs and stuff, and it's like, how do you How do you still do do it? it? Yeah. Especially in this day and age where, you know, healthcare industry is in demand now. Right. More than ever is so critical, and she still... Yes, yeah, I think she competed at the Savannah Pro okay. not too long ago. So it's like, golly. Yeah. So, but going back to like that goes back to what you're saying about the mental. Like, if you want something bad enough, you find a way. You're gonna find a way. You're gonna make sacrifice. You're gonna, you know, probably cut some corners or whatever. Right. Or cash in some vacation time on a job. Right, or, right. Or something. Yeah. Some sick days. It's, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no, that's 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 dope. Um, and like, I was telling a friend of mine the other day because she commended me because I work a full time job. It's very I work in e commerce, so I'm on my feet fulfilling orders and stuff. And she's like, "I don't see how you do it because you do your you know you do the podcast, you do your own editing, you still do photography and everything, and you still find time to relax yeah. and watch all your shows." And I was like. I don't get that much sleep. (laughs) I know sleep is important to the human body on so many levels, but it's like, like tonight when I go home, I'm probably going to download the latest episode of Star Trek Discovery and watch it before I doze off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Doze (laughs) off and and send out, you know, one or two emails. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How would you say, what are some of the best ways that someone can earn money in a sport of bodybuilding? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to throw you with that curve bottle. Yeah, that we, feels. we should rephrase that. To how much money do you want to spend bodybuilding? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did. It, it's hard that to make too, money. That too, we go going that too. Yeah, it, it's hard to make money bodybuilding. And I mean, anybody that's looking to go into bodybuilding to make money, mm-hmm. that's not the route. <laughs> it takes time. You yeah. know, um, obviously, you know, you get money from sponsorships. Um, you know, top athletes, pro shows, yeah. top placers, they, they get a small check, Olympian yeah. athletes, Arnold athletes, but those are people that have been doing it for a very long time. Wow. You know, you have a few that come up the ranks really quickly, but yeah. they're far and few in between. Um, and it, it's an expensive sport. Like, it is an expensive sport. <laughs> yeah, it, that, that's all I can say. Yeah, no, I, I, I used to tell Blue that all the time. I'm glad you're here sitting so you can yeah, hear I it. Knew. Now I'm not. Food. I, I well, food yeah, and even do a contest. So you pay an entry fee to compete right. in the contest. Yeah. Right. Um, and like if my, it's a national show, you're flying to that. You yeah. pay for hotel. Have to take your food. Um, paying for coaches. Paying for your coaches are expensive. Suits alone, like twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. So it's like I, I would. I had that goal of getting into a bikini. I didn't know it was going to be like blinged out and cost $20. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It gets up there from, you know, the nicer ones, obviously. Yeah. And my, you know, thought process is you spend so much money on the temple, on the body, making the yeah. body look good with your coaches and your supplements and your food. Don't cheat yourself when you get on stage. Mm. Get the best suit that you can. Yeah, that's you true. You know, get your hair done. Yeah. You know, get your makeup done professional. I was going to say, if a woman got your hair and makeup done, done nails and some, stuff, yeah. Someone might want to cheat. That right. like, I can get this type of outfit, or mm-hmm. you're saying not to do that, no, though. No. I mean, you've spent so much money making yourself look, your body look a certain way. You want to present it in the best light possible, too. Yeah. You know. No, that's a good point. Yeah, it is. I mean, but people still do it. <laughs> They do it. And I mean, if they're going to be on, on the stage with me, go ahead. That's oh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> this is 
it's a winner right here. So y'all heard it. You know, like, this, is winning. this is winning behavior. And, and speaking of winning, let's go back to your, your most recent contest. Like, what did you place in all of the categories? Um, so I placed um, first in my class, mm -hmm. Class B. B. Um, uh -huh. That's 35, Masters, 35 okay. plus. And then in Open, I placed third. Okay. Yep. And that, that lineup was kind of intense. Um, I didn't catch the live stream, but I looked at the pictures that everybody was posting on social media and the, um, um, like Generation Iron and all those guys. And that you up to get some pretty stiff competition. Yeah, it was a and, lot of figure girls. Yeah. Like, I mean, bikini, wellness, obviously those are, well, yeah. wellness is new, but definitely bikini. Bikini is, is 100,000 yeah. girls coming right. up, it's right. how it feels like. Right, and I think when um, I talked to um, someone at the show, they said um, we had maybe 2,100 competitors with crossovers. Damn. So it was a pretty big show. Most wow. of them were men's physique and bikini. Okay. I think men's physique was like the biggest class this year. So Okay. Like, it was and that's crazy. that's picking up a lot because uh you know now that men's physique is really taking off mm -hmm. a lot of men don't want to be mass monsters and it's right. and it's hard like you going back to like you say it's hard to keep up that way if you're right. five nine five seven mm -hmm. you know you don't want to weigh 270 and up you know what right. I mean? right. you know and even if you're that i may not be so healthy to have that much right. mass, even for a guy, right. you know, so yeah. physique is really... But uh, some of the know. men's physique guys, they're huge. <laughs> like, everything's yeah. shifting, you yeah. know, it's like everyone wants to be bigger, you know. Um, but yeah, some of those guys are, are pretty massive, too, like... I thought it was just me tripping. I noticed that, too. It's like, well, isn't the whole point of physique is to kind of go back to the, the Lee LaBrada days mm -hmm. and, and Arnold, but then these guys are coming in bigger yeah yes. <laughs> they're massive like and i mean classic like um, i love that that's my favorite for mm -hmm. men's division classic okay. physique i love the look of classic but like some of them look like bodybuilders yeah. like you should be an open yeah. <laughs> but yeah. i mean you know things change yeah. so i guess that that's the, that's where we're gravitating towards now so it probably has to do with a person's height too the shorter a person is then more compact the more compact yeah. and yeah they could weigh 200 and if you're five five you gonna look like a mass monster right. so to speak you like oh like a lee priest um so just going back to one question so it really hasn't sunk it in like how does it feel we actually like how does it feel terry point it really hasn't sunk in yet it has <laughs> it really has it i mean yeah just normal day honestly it it really hasn't sunk in maybe once i make my debut maybe then but I was gonna lead you to my next question. What, uh, what, are, what are your next goals? You know, pending nothing crazy happens with another right. lockdown. Knock on wood, right. that wouldn't. But was any thoughts on your next show or? <laughs> <laughs> my coach will say differently. Um, but you know, um, I want a a good improvement season. You know, okay. um, for me, it's more than just getting on stage. I, again, I want to be competitive. Um, I do it because it's fun and because I love it, but mm -hmm. at the same time, you know, I do it because I want to win. So, um, mm. obviously on the pro level, you know, again, yeah. I'm at the bottom of the totem pole. So, competing against people that have been doing it forever, a lot of people that I look up to in yeah. the sport. Um, so, I want to at least be able to make a splash. You know, gotcha. like, oh, we need to watch out for her. Mm -hmm. May not win, but at least be memorable. You yeah. Know? yeah, 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 so, no doubt. I mean, I um, got feedback from um, head judge today on things I need to work on. So. Okay. Just hitting the ground running with that and looking forward to eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, tell us about that as far as eating, like living in, number one, you're, you know, you say you're from Mississippi. So just being from the South, where the South is known for some of the best food, arguably, oh, yes. in the country, living in Houston, Texas, the food capital, right. what do you call it, culinary capital of the United States and quite possibly the world. Mm -hmm. Is that the hardest part of training, like not being to eat what you want to eat when you want to eat it? Um, not really, okay. honestly. And I think it's because I enjoy my off season. Okay. I know a lot of bodybuilders that don't. Mm -hmm. I've heard, I've had people tell me you're not the typical bodybuilder because I like my alcohol, like my lemon drops. Um, I eat. I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah. Um, so I think I enjoy it enough in the off season that when I get into prep. It's not missed as much. Okay. Um, not to mention, again, I, I work hard. So yeah. um, I get cheat meals in prep okay. from my coach. Um, actually, towards the end um, of this prep, I was literally burning so fast. Like, he was having to 
give me 2,300 calorie meals, like one meal, just to like balance Damn. everything okay. out. Yeah, just to keep me full because I, I was, yeah. I came, I, you gotta, I build muscle quickly and I also come down quickly, so. Wow, yeah. you gotta be super human. Just like here, actually, um, this might be a dumb question because I, I remember a photo shoot you did, but I guess you're like into superheroes and stuff, right? Yeah. Your metabolism <laughs> reminds me of like uh, the Flash or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> grief! Yeah. Wow! Yeah, it, uh, it's crazy, but it, it's so interesting too. Like the human body. Yeah, you know, what it's what it capable of yeah. and will do the extremes and everything. Wow! And what are some of your influences um, in the bodybuilding community? Just in any division, let's be figured. Just yeah, any of them. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm always gonna go back to uh, Candace Carter. Mm. That's um. That's the reason why I fell in love with figure to begin with. Um, again, I never planned on bodybuilding. Um, my first coach that was a bodybuilder, like I would see him in his preps, and it was it was brutal. So mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm not doing that. Like I like to do this, and I like to do that, you know. So it's going to impede on my home life. Yeah. Like I don't want to do it, but um, you know, I, I think I kind of have the same stigma too with women with muscle. It's like, oh, I don't want to be too big, or yeah. you know, I don't want to be too shredded. Um, but the closer I got to that, the more appealing it became to yeah. me. Um, so I remember seeing like like randomly looking on Instagram at fitness pages and her page popping up and seeing this video of her, um, I think it was like at the Arnold when she walked out and like she opened up and she hit her front pose. I was like, That was when she was like the purplish bikini. Yeah, yes. I remember, mean, yeah. So wild. I was yeah. like, Oh my god, because it was like you would have never known that all of that was there yeah. until she actually posed and I was like I had already been playing with the idea of competing anyway. So I'm like, that's the division that I have to do. Like, ah, I have to do that one. Like she's okay. appeals, like she's graceful, like it's so elegant and feminine, but it's like powerful. Well, yeah, you, know? you tell she puts in work and yes. and she doesn't play right. And actually, that's how I found you because um, I follow her on Instagram and there was a video she did where you guys were out by attics by the reservoir, mm -hmm. and I was like, number one. Who's this chick with the fade tighter than mine? <laughs> God damn, I need her Barbara's number. Shit, tell me to fire mine. That's Jasmine Whitaker. Okay, thank you. <laughs> she's not a barber, she's a stylist. Stylist, okay, she, wait. But she splices you up. I see. <laughs> um, I was like, God damn, I was like, let me follow her. And, and it's all freehand with a blade. What? Yes. Damn, she, the she real MVP. The real MVP. I will Ooh. see her tomorrow. Okay, okay. Yeah. Dope. I'll probably see her cool. next week or something. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Damn. And I, was, I was like, wow. And I really thought, too, for a moment um, that you were going to go on stage, you know, rocking the fade. And Everyone asks me yeah, to. I, like, everyone's like, you need to rock your natural hair. Like, you were literally the third person that said that today. Wow. So I was like, maybe for the pro you, debut. You think I you will next time? I don't know. It looks good. Though. Yeah, you. not too many women can rock a fade. That's true. And you do it. Yeah. You do it awesomely. <laughs> I think for me, like the hair adds to the theatrics of it. Mm -hmm. You know, because I mean, it's presentation. You know, you get the hair flips, and you kind of tap into something different. Yeah, I feel right. really yeah. elegant and glitzy glammy with mm -hmm. the hair. Like with my short hair, like mm -hmm. I just I feel like powerful. Like to take over the world <laughs> yeah. you know like strong in a different way which yeah. I guess would present nicely on stage too but um, I think it's it's a little stereotypish too for me because I'm smaller I'm muscular mm -hmm. the shorter hair like I don't feel as feminine if that makes sense gotcha okay yeah, yeah I got you yeah. yeah I got you I got you but I mean you gotta do at least one contest or yeah. maybe a guest <laughs> posing or something I, I don't know yeah mm -hmm. um, with, with, with the short hair um, that's dope um, but yeah, I remember seeing you guys. We were doing hills, her, yeah, hills, yeah, yeah. Up, up the Attics Reservoir. And I was like, okay, I need to follow her. And eventually, I don't even think I had started the podcast yet. Mm -hmm. But Blue and I were kind of toying with the idea. I was like, okay, well, once I get up and running, I'm going to reach out and see if I can get on the show. Then when I found out that you were competing, I was like, okay, I'm going to wait. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, patience is virtue. I'm going to yes. wait, be patient, mm -hmm. see how things go. Because I, I, I'm a, I'm a big fan of like the whole exclusive and mm -hmm. you know I say okay well I was the first guy to interview her mm -hmm. pro debut just days after she got that sort of thing I was like okay let me let me wait on that all right um who else besides uh besides Candace um I mean you have a few others mm -hmm. so um obviously um Sydney Gillen who is mm -hmm. reigning this figure Olympia yeah. 
Um, I'm, I'm naturally attracted to shape. Okay. So obviously that's something you cannot build. Either you have it or you don't. You yeah. know, um, and it, like with Candace, for instance, there will never be another Candace. Like, I, I concur. I, yeah. I think everyone will. <laughs> yeah. I hate the fact you're tired, man. Yeah. God. Yeah. I never, I used to go to the armor a lot, she'll tell you. And um, that's like, I stopped going to her. I got married and everything, and I stopped mm-hmm. going to the armor. I'm like, I wish I could have saw her on stage, yeah. you know, in her prime. Yeah, you know, you know it's like, Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> push a little bit after the baby. Please, like, yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's like, this, hey, throw the baby out like, You want your kid to see you on stage, that's right? right. That's, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And, I mean, that, and that damn dog of hers. Right. <laughs> Basil. Basil. <laughs> All those videos trip me out. Yeah, and she's like, a mess. Yeah. yeah, and Basil and her husband, they just do these stare downs. I'm like, this little bitty ass, you really <laughs> think he's going to take on like a six foot four? Oh, yeah, guy? She, she's, she, now she's badass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, yeah, she, yeah. she was just made for figure. Like, yeah, it, yeah. She came true. out of the womb being made for figure, yeah. you know, so. Never be another her. Um, Sydney, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, Latoya, obviously. The oh, top yeah. three. You know? Yeah. And it, Latoya, it's the shape like, for me. It's always the shape. And Latoya, with me, her, her, if lack of a better term, her, her shreddingness, you know what I mean? Like, her she, level of yeah, yeah. conditioning. Jeez. And see, that's what it and is. And that's like, another one, too, that works a full time job. Like, she yes. works at Target. Like, yes. fuck, like yeah. you know? <laughs> like, she still keeps her day job. She posts about it and stuff. Okay. And it's like. Wow, you working at Target and retail mm-hmm. eight, twelve hours, and now as getting close to the holidays, it's going to be even crazy. And she's still putting that oh, work. Oh, Nadia, Nadia, Nadia. I'm Nadia. sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. sorry. I got. Yeah. yeah. When you said conditioning, I'm like, you got to be talking about yeah, Nadia. Nadia. Yeah, she you're right. Shredded to the bone. bone. Yeah. <laughs> it's like good grief. Yeah. It's like it's even anatomically possible while I'm looking at it right. on the ground. Right. And, and then she's like that four weeks out. I'm yeah. Like, oh, it's going to get better? Let me keep watching. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, when you can bring the total package, like, mm-hmm. you know, and that's the reason why they they are where they are, you know. And True. Because they, they bring it all. It's the shape, the symmetry, the muscularity, and the conditioning. Um, it's not something that you see, obviously, all the time. Because, not again, you know, you can't build shape. So, that's what naturally draws me in. Like, even if the conditioning isn't on point. Yeah. If I see a good shape, like that little tiny waist and that beautiful lat spread and yeah. that quad sweep, like, it's just, yeah, like you want to drool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 like, me, yeah, I sit back and it's like, how is that even possible? It's like, right. all these, these, you know, going back to superheroes, like, Warner Brothers and Dizzy, they need to hire these chicks to play these right, superheroes. Exactly, right? Like, yes. like, acting can be taught. If you don't know how to right. act, you can take some acting skills, but right. certain physiques can't be built, not especially if you're trying to do, you know, make yeah. everything movie, you know, comic book accurate to the movie and whatnot. Right. It's like, you got She Hawks out here just waiting. You don't right. computer generated. You don't, you know. No, no waist trainers tra- needed. Exactly. Like, <laughs> ready to go. Go, exactly. <laughs> like, geez. And, I'm glad you're here, and it seems like you, you know, you tell it like it is. I want to talk about, too, the, what are your thoughts on any quality between men and women in the industry? If you can talk about that. So what do you mean quality? Well, as far as, like, prize money, Mm -hmm. um, mainly just prize money, what the... You know, men get versus the women. Um, things, things of that <laughs> I think it's like anything else in life. You mm-hmm. know, we're we're still fighting for equal representation. Yeah. Um, I don't know how long that's gonna last. <laughs> it's been going on forever. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's one of those things. What can you do? You know. Yeah. So you kind of accept it the way that it is. It may not be right, but I think it just it encourages you to work harder. You know, bring more spotlight on it. I think maybe with women's bodybuilding being back. Yeah, Maybe that'll help we'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, and it seems like the dude who owns um, the Olympia now he's trying to pour a lot of money, not only out of his own pocket, but with mm-hmm. sponsorships and get them to say, hey, you know, look at these girls, give them sponsorships or right. whatever, help up the prize money right. and spread it out more, more, uh, more equally. Right. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a very, very good point. Um, do you see figure as evolving or changing? Because I notice physique, when it comes to the women's size, in my opinion, everybody is kind of, well, what, let's push bikini aside, but figure, physique, and maybe even bodybuilding, they're all kind of one step or close mm-hmm. from one another. You know what I mean? Right. Like figure 
if you add, and even with your frame, if you add maybe a couple more pounds, you might be considered physique, physique borderish. Exactly. Right. You know, and then someone who's physique, if you add a couple more pounds, mm -hmm. then Women's you may buy the Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think the lines are blurred a little bit. Um, I don't know, again, if that's because things are changing and maybe they, you know, they want more muscle, you know, over shape, symmetry, yeah. conditioning. Um, and then, too, you know, maybe it had to do something, had something to do with women's bodybuilding going away. You know, so you lost a whole, you know, division there. So mm -hmm. you have more, I guess, girls in, in physique that could be bodybuilders that, you know, stick with that division because they didn't have anywhere to move up to. Um, That's a good point. Yeah, and then yeah. bigger girls kind of in, in figure too. Yeah. You know, that could probably bump up to physique. But, yeah. You know, women's bodybuilding isn't there, so. But now, maybe with that being back, it'll kind of tip the scales and balance things out a little bit. Okay. But, yeah, I, I think the look now is definitely bigger, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of see it going that way myself. Um as far as you, like, you see yourself sticking with figure? Definitely. That's really not... That's you know, you I, I kind of go back and forth with that, you know, mm. because, again, like, it, I put on muscle very quickly, um, and I like to lift at the end of the day. Mm. Um, fitness will always be there. I don't know how long I'll body build, yeah. but being fit in the gym, that will always be a part of my life. So it's like, do you want to just let your body naturally do what it wants to do and, you know, explode? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or do you kind of tame it down, you know? But, I mean, I'm still very much at the stage where I need to build just a little bit more. So we haven't quite quite gotten there yet, but I don't see me coming out of the hills for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and um, like with your physique, I can see you doing, and some people do this, you know, do both. You know, one show may compete in physique and the other one figure, but then I know that kind of plays with the body. Because obviously for figure, you got to be a little bit more shredded um, than physique. Well, physique, yeah. more shredded than, yeah, figure. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, I said that. I knew yeah, what you yeah, meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I was kind of looking, I was like, oh, no, nah, I'm not yeah, saying it right. Got, yeah, got it. Yeah. Um, so it's like those say, I mean, figures where it's at. <laughs> I think so. You know, I, yeah. I mean, I'm more biased, obviously, mm -hmm. but, you know, for me, it, it's it's a very athletic, manageable look, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And I think, you know, again, like you were saying, um, like, I, I'm not big on the crossing over thing, you know, and it's just me. Yeah. It's just me, you know, nothing against people who do it, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like guidelines are written for each division for a reason. True. And if you are able to cross over then that means that we're not adhering to the guidelines that were written for that division mm. because it shouldn't be blurred. It should be you fit here or you don't, you know. Good point. It shouldn't be one or the other, in my mind. Yeah, you know? nah, that's, that's a good way to look at it, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they take the time to write in full detail and then show pictures. I mean, when they came out with physique, you know, they showed pictures and had right. certain things Circle, highlighted what yeah. they're... Because you know, like they for figure, for. for instance, no striations. Yeah. But striations in, you know, women's physique, although you see striated figure girls too. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's supposed to be a no-no. Um, but again, judges can only judge what show up. So, you know. Good point. Everybody shows up striated. Who we going with? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all got striations. Uh, judges, I mean, I, I kind of give judges some heat sometimes, but they really do have a tough job. Yeah, they do. You're sitting there, and like you said, if everybody comes straight, you're looking at each other like, the fuck we gonna do here now? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta like, go with somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll get a number three, you know? Right, right. <laughs> um, And going back a little bit to stigmatas, has anybody ever said, especially like, not just the way you look now, but even as you were in prep, what are some of the comments that you get in public, if anything? Oh, God. I get so many. Like you I'm know, not talking about online, you know, fuck the trolls. Yeah, oh no, shit, you know, public. excuse my French, but yeah. yeah. You'll get it in public. You know, okay. I've had a few people, you know, like especially um you overhear conversations you aren't supposed to hear. <laughs> you know, and you'll hear someone say, you know, something like, um, oh, you know, her body looks she looks amazing or something like that and it's always I don't wanna look like that or, you know, those aren't my goals, you know. No. Um, a lot of stares, especially like, even coming from the airport, um, from, you know, the show in Charleston over mm -hmm. the weekend. Um, a lot of stares, you know, my husband hates it, so he'll stare back. <laughs> he absolutely yeah. hates it. He's like, hey, how are you doing? You yeah, know, so. Seriously, that's real. Yeah, it yeah. is. I would be the one to be like, hey, girl. Yeah, it's like, just, just yeah, like, nah, just, I mean, just say good. something. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you see someone, especially bodybuilders, I mean, just say hi or hello, right. you know, or, yeah. or just say, hey, forgive me for staring, but. Right. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, like, it, yeah, you yeah, take it with right, a grain of salt right. because it's yeah. like I don't know if it's out of admiration exactly. or if like you're disgusted. I can't tell which one it is. So yeah. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and just say maybe it, you haven't seen anyone this lean before. Or, yeah, you know, right, something. Right. You know, you, you learn to ignore it honestly, uh, but for the most part, it's always positive. Okay, part. that's yes. good. That's good. Because I mean, you know, there's internet trolls, and I understand oh, everybody's get that and, a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and entitled mm-hmm. to their opinion, and you know, everybody. Everybody are, you know, real big macho people online, but right. I mean, it's, you don't too much here. You're the, probably the, I don't know, let's count now of how many athletes I've had on the show. I think you're the fourth. I know I should know this, but, right. uh, <laughs> and you know, so far I haven't ran anyone that's gotten, well, except for one. Yeah. She said she ran to an incident in the gym, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> yes. But, um, but a woman caught her just like, you look like a man. And she's like, okay. Oh, so to her yeah, face. yeah. To her face. face. Yeah. yeah. At the gym when she's training, you know, how people pose in the mirror and, right. um, she was posing. Oh, it. She was bald. Yeah, <laughs> and it's this little lady, the gym with older all lady. These weights yeah. that I throw at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's you know older Asian lady. Was like, you look like a man, and was, I'm like, wow. I was like, you handled that a lot better than I would have. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Good God. Yeah. And like, I'm pretty nice, but like, yeah, that, that's blatant. Like, yeah, yeah it's blatant disrespect. Yeah, yeah disrespect. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't mind striking up a conversation with someone and saying, mm-hmm. well, hey. Why do you want to look like this? You know what right. what goes into it. Right. You know, um, but just oh, you're like a man. But again, it goes back. It's like well, you don't have a problem out of you know, um, Serena Williams or even um, who else got real toned? Um, chick that plays Black Widow. You know, she's gotten oh, toned yeah. for the for the, some of yeah. those Marvel movies. You know, and it's like oh. Those chicks are okay, you know? <laughs> well, I've, I've always struggled with that statement anyway. Look like, what does that mean? Look like mm. a man. The average man doesn't look like this. So what that's do you, true. I don't understand yeah. what that yeah, even means true. to begin that's with, true. you know? Like, I don't know. But luckily, I, I train out of species in yeah. Katy, and it's pretty much a bodybuilder gym. gym so, yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's encouraging. It's yeah. motivating, you know? So none of that. And they wouldn't tolerate it anyway, so. That's what's yeah. up, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, I heard that's like the new mecca down here in Houston, the species. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah species is, it's nothing, nothing like that gym. So, <laughs> if you're ever looking for a good, grimy, nice. brutal workout, best equipment, hands down. So, yeah. Cool, cool. And as we wrap this thing up, because I won't take too much of your time and everything, I appreciate you again for coming out. Appreciate your husband here. Thank you, good sir. Um, I have a thing I do called speed round. Well, okay. I ask three random questions off the top of my head okay. and just say the first thing that comes to mind. Or I oh, might goodness. just say the first thing. <laughs> Does it have to be uh, <laughs> rated PG? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know. I keep everything classy. Okay, but, okay. but whatever comes to your mind, and this is unrestricted, so okay. whatever comes to your mind. Oh, um, favorite superhero? Black Widow. Okay, all right, all right. I would have thought it was Storm. Yeah, she's cool. Okay. <laughs> Black, Widow, okay, okay. Black Widow's more realistic. Gotcha. <laughs> so you must be just just anxiously waiting for the Black Widow movie I am. to come out. I am. Yeah, this this whole pandemic the mess with the yeah. movie industry. That may be my next head. photo shoot. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. Okay, third here. Um your favorite body part on you? My legs. Okay, okay. Um Third question, as you can see, I didn't prepare for this. Okay. I have this just a uh, favorite thing to eat. Pancakes. Really? Down. Oh, yes. <laughs> really? You see, that came out quickly. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Prince, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, basically. Yeah. I, was oh, watching, I was watching Chappelle's show Marathon Comedy Central the other night, and it's, <laughs> it's stuck in my head. Okay. Wow, pancakes. I would have never that's, guessed. That, that's okay. usually the go-to. It's either that or burgers, but I get burgers in prep, so okay. it's always what pancake place is open. Gotcha. So. You had a burger the other day, right? I or did. The last 24 hours, I remember seeing it on your, yeah. your, uh, your feed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 a burger I'll connoisseur. I'll put those burgers back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um Roco um burger Roco ah, Roco Grill in uh-huh. Katy. Okay. I gotta get out to Katie. Yes. I've heard there's so many good restaurants. Oh, so and stuff. many! Like I live in the city. I live in downtown, so okay. I just kind of oh, nice. I stay within the loop. But yeah. she lives out in Katie. Mm-hmm. Okay. And have you tried Roca? I have not. Oh, you got to try. But it. I will. Jesus, their burgers are uh-huh. crazy. Like, yeah, you got. I can. Mm. I had like sausage and dirty rice on my burger. Like it the sounds hell? so. Oh, yes, that sounds so good. They put everything on it. It was 
it's worth it. It's worth the drive. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so next time you think yeah, what I'm you thinking, know, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Next time, um, what, yeah, what, we haven't hooked up in a while. Baby, and, uh, chachos. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's not our fault though. I mean, poor chachos. They're still close. <laughs> Well, they close it down. They're doing drive yeah, drive through, but yeah, so we like to eating this time. Yeah, I hate that. Don't yeah. give me my food in the car. I want to sit down. Yeah, you want to sit down and have a margarita and right. talk and it's let the, the time same. pass. It's nah, it's yeah. not. Well, well Rocco is open, so. but I will. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 Uh, th thanks for that tip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, me, no, I gotta Google them and, and look at the menu right. and decide oh, like, what I'm gonna. Y'all are gonna be so The minute you pull it up on Instagram, yeah. you're gonna be like, oh my god. Damn, I gotta go to yes. work tomorrow. Hell. I mean, we, maybe maybe the weekend or something like that. They're open like on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're they have okay. to be. But next weekend, you might because your birthday coming up. Your birthday's it's next week. During the week, the at, before Thanksgiving. Okay. So we could the weekend. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll make, we'll make it a plan and. Yeah. and Call it, hey, call a company meeting so it's a tax write off. There we go. There you go. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. There we go. Oh, um, fully, let everybody know social media, how to get in contact with you, give your shout outs, all that good stuff. Um, so on social media, it's um, rue, R U dot B dot babe, B A B E, 85. That's Instagram. I don't do anything on Facebook, so it's not even worth looking for me on there. Okay. <laughs> but everything's on Instagram. Um, yeah, I mean, shout out to my coach, Dave Hintz with Underrated Muscle. Would not be here without him. He's wonderful. Um, Candace, my heart. Um, I think I yeah. get her on the show one of these days. <laughs> yeah, you should. So, I gotta reach out to her. Yeah, she's why I'm here as well. Um, obviously, um, First Form, my supplement company, Fit okay. Fashion for apparel, um, Chicken Pound for meal prep, Species for training. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, my husband. First and foremost, <laughs> nothing without him. So, yeah. yes, yes. Again, thank you so much for coming down. Um, you mind taking some pictures? No, now, not at all. Actually, do you mind showing off your physique while I still got the camera roll? <laughs> like, I know I was forgetting something. I'm like, okay, this is. This. Hmm? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. Um, right now. You want me to cut the, cut the yeah, you cut the feet off. Yeah, you're good. We're good. I guess you're a fashionista too, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> like my dresses and my heels. Like that can't come out the heels. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> nah, I mean, just, just, yeah, just right there. That's um, amazing. Little girl muscle. <laughs> that Not is... as shredded as I was, certainly, but. Yeah, and to still maintain the physique uh, a week so after. With everything that I've been eating. <laughs> Right. I that, dialed it in a little bit on Monday. Just a little bit. That is awesome. Well, everybody, um, thank you for tuning in. If you like the content of this video, then please leave a like and help share it. Also, feel free to subscribe and be sure to indicate you want notifications on all videos.